recording this and I'm going to start by sharing my screen with you. So do interrupt me if you have any questions, but the topic today is situations where you need to think about <clears throat> drawing some or all of the trumps um, or whether to rough in one hand or sometimes whether you should rough in both hands. And generally speaking, if you can make the same number of tricks, it's always best to draw trumps first. But sometimes if you can aim for extra tricks by roughing in one hand or roughing in both hands. And also there I've just given details of my email address because sometimes people watch these videos and if they want to get in touch with me or want to know how to join in these uh, games or uh, interactive lessons, send me your email address and I'll send you details of these sessions. So let's have a look and let's have a look at <clears throat> this hand here where we're going to look at it from the point of view of south and north has opened one diamond here and you can tell that you probably want to end up in game on this hand at least game you've got um, what 16 points but it's right to start off with one spade your partner rebids two diamonds and now you rebid two hearts and this is how you show a hand with at least five spades and at least four hearts um, it's a forcing bid and your partner bids three hearts and so you go on to four hearts you end up being declarer in a four heart contract and let's suppose the opponents lead a club. And let's stop <clears throat> for a minute to try to work out the best option on this hand. And what I can see, if I look at this from my hand's point of view, from the south hand's point of view, is that I've got a lot of spade losers in my hand. Um, and if I look at it from the north hand point of view, I've got diamond losers in the north hand but each of those can quite possibly be roughed and this is a kind of hand where it probably works out best to try to cross rough the hand and never actually draw trumps the other thing on this hand is that you have quite good trumps in both hands you've got the ace jack 10 2 in the south hand and the king Queen, nine, three in the north hand. So your only low trumps are the two and the three. And all your other trumps are high. So that's my what I'm going to do on this hand. You can sort of try and work it out by counting, but I think you can see that there's a very good chance of eliminating all your spade losers if you can rough them all. Um, we've also got the ace, king of diamonds there. And that will allow us to actually discard uh, something from the south hand. I've got the ace and I can discard something on the king. So that will be uh, another way of getting rid of a loser. So what I'm going to do on this hand, it's a perfect hand really for a cross rough and that's what I'm going to embark on. So I'll win the first trick with the king of clubs and I'm not going to touch trumps here because I want to take the trumps individually rather than uh, drawing any of them. I might start off with the ace of spades and play another spade. And what I'm going to do, my first rough is going to be low with a three. But now all the other spade roughs can be high and there's no danger of them being over Um I've got a couple of things to do first before I um, cross rough too much, which is to cash the ace of diamonds. And I can also cash the king of diamonds. And... That gives me a chance to throw away a loser. And the best loser to throw away here is the club, because I'm hoping to rough all those spades and actually avoid any losers. Now I've done that, I've cashed um, the winners, and I'm going to go back to roughing, start by roughing a diamond. Um, it's a good idea also, when you are embarking on cross rough, to cash any side winners early on. Don't leave them because your opponents will eventually throw away clubs and you might not be able to cash it. But now you can cash your club and now go back to your plan of roughing the spades, roughing a diamond, 
roughing a spade, roughing a diamond, and roughing the last spade, and actually make all 13 tricks by cross roughing the entire hand. And cross roughing is something that people take to very readily, I find. And sometimes it's the right approach, but not always. Do interrupt me if you have any comments or questions on that. And let's look instead at this one here, where South here opens a club. Now, South here has got that 4 4 1 4 distribution. So the normal suit to bid there is the one below the singleton. Okay, so the three non touching suits do up in one club. There's a one spade over call from West, and North here makes a double. And that is a negative or Sputnik double. It shows um, a certain number of points. Here it shows something like eight or more points. But what it's showing is the two unbid suits. It's showing that they should have four hearts and four diamonds. And now that they've shown the four hearts, you can support them. Now, this south hand is worth more than a minimum. It's uh, 14 points, but with a singleton, you should bid more than two hearts. Two hearts would be a minimum, more like 12 to 15 points. But you upgrade this hand because of the singleton. Or if you prefer, you can count your losers. If I count my losers, once we've got a heart bid, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six losers. So it's better than a minimum, uh, which would be a seven loser hand. I bid three hearts, and my partner raises me to four hearts. So they lead the ace of spades. And <clears throat> I'd like you to think about this hand. And I'm going to ask you a question in a minute about the best way to play it. Okay. And I'm going to give you three options on this hand. Are you going to try to rough spades in dummy? Or are you going to try to rough diamonds in your own hand? Or are you going to cross rough, roughing spades and diamonds? Okay, so in a moment I'm going to launch a poll with those uh, options on it. And I'd like you to choose one of those options. So the question is, how do you plan to play this hand? Are you going to cross rough? Are you going to rough spades in dummy or rough diamonds in declarer's hand? I'll give you a few more seconds and then I'm going to launch it. I'd like you to pick one of those options as what you think the best line is here. Okay, 84% of you have answered. <clears throat> okay, so 90% have answered. I'm going to end the poll here. And I'm going to share the results with you. The majority here have gone for cross roughing, 53%, with 33% going for roughing spades, and only 13% have chosen the approach of roughing diamonds in declarer's hand. 
And I think that answer is very revealing for me because I think the right answer is to rough diamonds in Declarer's hand. Oh. Those of you who chose to cross rough or rough spades in dummy, I think have chosen the wrong option. And we're going to have a look at this hand played a couple of different ways and see if we can decide uh, why that is. Well, let's have a look at the option of roughing spades in dummy. We, we, we go, if we look at how it would go if we rough spades in dummy, you can see that we're going to lose that first trick. But then if we're able to rough spades in dummy, um, then we can avoid any more uh, losers. In fact, what we could do here is plan to rough two spades in dummy and discard a spade on the second high diamond. We've got the ace king of diamonds. Um, the problem on this hand is that if we decide to rough spades in dummy, although it could lead to 12 tricks, the problem is based on the bidding, we know that West has got a long spade suit, at least five spades. So East is probably short in spades. And so we may find that as we rough spades, we will either have to rough high, maybe with the queen, uh, or if we don't rough high enough, it, we might get over roughed. Um, whereas if we rough diamonds, um, first of all, we've uh, th there's not been any clue in the bidding that the diamonds are going to be badly distributed. So I can, if you look at this hand from the point of view of North, I can see that if I can rough two diamonds in the South hand, I'm hoping to make 12 tricks by roughing two diamonds. So we'll have a look at how that goes. Um, those of you who suggested cross roughing, the problem with cross roughing is that if you try and do what we did on the previous hand and just cross rough without drawing trumps, we won't be able to cash four clubs. The opponents will um, uh, be able to rough those clubs. So we need to draw trumps. And on this hand, after you've made the decision that you need to draw trumps, it's just a case of deciding whether you're going to aim to rough diamonds in one hand or spades in the other. And that is the uh, idea behind the master hand. When you draw trumps, you use one hand to draw trumps and the other hand to do the rubbing. And that's what we're going to do on this hand. We're going to try to draw, um, we're going to draw trumps, but we're, before we do that, we're going to try to rub two diamonds in our hand. So I'm going to show you how that works out and also how a cross rub works out, which is, you'll see is not very well. So let's see how this goes. Uh, played how I think they should be played with the ace of diamonds, uh, sorry, the ace of spades winning the first trick. And West will probably shift to another suit. Let's suppose they play uh, the queen of diamonds here and you win that one with the ace. And I've got the second of my two poll. This is the last poll question I'm going to ask you, which is having won this first trick with the ace of diamonds, You've got the lead in dummy. I'm going to ask you, what would you play next? So think about it a minute. And in uh, about 15 seconds, I'm going to launch that poll to ask you, what do you think you should lead from the north hand, having won that ace of diamonds? And here comes that poll. After winning the Ace of Diamonds, are you going to play the King of Diamonds, a low diamond, or a club, or a heart? Tell me what you think.
Okay, so we'll end the poll there. And we've got, I'll share the results with you. Um, so 38% the majority have gone for the king of diamonds. 34% uh, have gone for a low diamond. And a small number, 9% went for a club. And 19% went for a heart. I didn't say which heart, but led for Trump. Well, uh, in my opinion, the correct answer there is a low diamond. Not the king of diamonds, but a low diamond. Let's uh, have a little think about this. Remember, if we're having a plan of um, roughing the diamonds, I only really need to rough uh, two diamonds here. And there was no point in cashing the king of diamonds uh, first. In fact, we'll, we'll have a look at what happens if you do that in a minute. But... The best plan is just to go straight into roughing the diamonds. And because I'm going to draw trumps here, I'm not going to worry about cashing my winners yet. What I'm going to do is, oops, sorry, this is, uh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, so, so, um, so sorry, this is not, not the one I, I was um, planning. This is actually, I'm going to demonstrate, first of all, what happens on this hand if you try to cross rough. So, this is how it would go if you tried to cross rough the hand. Um, so you start with the king of diamonds, let's say, discarding a loser there. Then you play a diamond, which you rough. And then trying to cross rough the whole hand, you then play a spade, which you rough. A diamond, which you can um, rough again. And... <clears throat> then play another spade, which you can rough. But if I bring up the four hands at this point, you can see that by you doing all this cross roughing, what you've done is you've shortened your trump position to the extent that the opponent east here has got more trumps than you. So you can now never draw trumps and you won't be able to cash your four clubs. So. What you can do now, you, you've done all the cross roughing you wanted to do, but you won't be able to cash your clubs. You won't be able to draw trumps. So you can try to start cashing clubs, but they'll get roughed. Okay. Um, if they play a, uh, a spade here, you can uh, rough that. But you won't be able to stop East winning with their trumps at the end okay and played that way you'll make 10 tricks on this hand let's have a look at uh how it could be played differently sorry just a little slow coming up let's look at this played another way um <clears throat> So again, they lead the ace of spades. They take the, uh, you take the ace of diamonds. And this is the best way to play this now by playing a low diamond here before you cash the king. So what we're going to do is rough the diamonds. Now we need to get back to dummy so that we can rough again. And we'll play the three of diamonds now. Um, which we rough in our own hand. Now we've done all the roughing we want to do, so we now just want to draw trumps. Now we're a little short of trumps here, but we can cash the ace, and now we want to get back to the north hand to draw that last trump. There's still a trump out, and we have to find some way to get back to the north hand in order to draw it. It's a little tricky now because we've got no high clubs to get back. So the only way to get back to dummy is to rough a spade. And fortunately, because there's just one trump out, we can now draw it. And the rest of our hand is good. We've got the king of diamonds and we've got the last four clubs. And we can make 12 tricks on this hand. And that's all done by roughing 
two diamonds in the south hand. It would not work so well to try for rough spades in the north hand because um, we, we might be able to get away with it. In this case, we probably would because East has got no high trumps. But on another occasion, we might find we lost to the uh, jack, for example, and we're not able to rough all the spades we wanted. So I think it's a better option to rough the diamonds than to rough the spades because it's likely that East is short in the spades. Um, I just wanted to play this hand one more time and see what would happen if you tried to cash the king of diamonds first before you did the roughing, which is what a lot of you chose. So um, let's see what happens if we play it exactly as before, but instead of playing a low diamond, we start by cashing the king of diamonds. Okay, now we can uh, rough, and that's uh, okay. We've still got the three of diamonds, which we want to rough, so we get back to dummy with a high trump and play the three of diamonds but unfortunately here because we've drawn that extra round we are now in trouble if we decide to rough with the ten because west can over rough okay because we haven't drawn trumps yet and let's suppose they play a spade now which we rough in dummy and we can now draw one round of trumps with the ace but Believe it or not, this particular hand makes it rather difficult to get to dummy to draw that last trump. There's still a trump out there, and it's actually impossible to get there and draw the last trump. So we're going to uh, suffer a, a rough here. We can try to catch some clubs here, um, but at some point, uh, East is going to rough with their five. We couldn't get to draw it, and we'll make 10 tricks instead of the 12 tricks we made. And that was all due to roughing, uh, catching the ace king of diamonds before we start roughing. So it's an important principle. If you're going to rough, but you're still planning to draw trumps, that you should um, draw, take a, don't, don't catch the ace and king in this situation. You have to take one card before you can rough, but keep the king till later and after you've drawn trumps, you'll be able to cash it. Do let me know if you have any questions about this. Maybe if I do a talk like this again, I'll show you how it would go if you instead you tried to rough spades. But um, quick question. To yeah. yeah. If West decided to play the king of spades to force North to use a trump, would that make a difference? Hmm. Um, so, yeah, I mean, obviously we'd have to rough that one. Um, I, 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 yeah, I mean, I would still try to rough the diamonds because I can see I'm in danger. Unless I'm able to rough high, I would be in danger of an over rough. Now, on this occasion, it probably doesn't matter, and you probably would might do just as well to rough spades as to rough diamonds. But I think it's safer to rough diamonds than spades. Um, yeah, if they force you to rough. I think I would still turn my attention to um, back to the diamonds because that's a safer option than roughing spades. So that, that's really um, examples of different kinds of, of hands. Hands where you cross rough and hands where you don't cross rough. And the difference is that in this hand, you need to draw trumps or you won't be able to cash four clubs. You only probably only be able to cash two clubs before the opponents start roughing. So that's what you need to decide when you're looking at a hand. I wanted to end by looking at a hand that was played um, earlier this year. And let me just wait for this to come up. And it was actually um, one of these boards here. I'm trying to scroll down to it. it board 15, you find it. Okay. And here it is. Um, and this was board 15, where, as you can see, this was a random board, and everyone played it more or less in four hearts. Nearly everyone played it in four hearts, um, one in three hearts. But uh, the computer says that you can make four hearts on this hand. 
but three people went down. And I wanted to look at this hand being played in two different ways. This is actually how it was played to see um, what, the, what the winning way to play it is. So let's have a look at this being played one way. Um, the bidding was very similar on most of the boards. One diamond, one heart over here. This hand now can support hearts. And you've got 13 points for the singleton. I think this hand should jump to three hearts and you'd end up in four hearts on this hand. Nearly everyone played this four hearts by East. And <clears throat> let's have a little think about it. Actually, my first question to you is, what do you think the opening lead should be? Suppose you're South sitting with this hand here and the opponents have bid as follows. One diamond, one heart, three hearts, four hearts. South is on lead. Does anyone like to suggest what they might lead on this hand? There's no pole on it. And you could unmute yourself if you have an opinion. A trump, Tony. A trump there. Someone's voted for a trump. Yeah. Any other thoughts? Club. Which club? This club. I will play second. Two. You mean the fourth highest? Yeah, fourth highest. Right. If you decide to lead one of those minor suits, well, let's talk about it. I'm not going to lead a diamond here. I think that's a very poor choice because West has bid diamonds. I'm really presumably be helping them by leading that suit. Um, I'm not very keen on a club lead here um, because I'm I've got a, an ace in there. If you decide to lead a club here from this holding, the correct club to lead is the ace. Because this is a suit contract, if you decide to lead a club, you should lead the ace. However, I think that is a poor choice. If this were no trump, then I would lead the two of clubs, I think. And that would be a normal choice. But against a suit contract, if you have an ace, you should lead it. But I would not lead the Ace of Clubs. I think that would could easily um, help declare as well. Yes, my choice would be either a Trump or a Spade here. Something where I'm hoping not to help declare or make any extra tricks. In fact, on this particular hand, if I click on the GIB button, you can actually see that the worst leads are a low diamond or a low club, which could lead to one extra trick to declare up. The best leads are a spade, a heart, or one of the aces. So um, on this particular hand, when it was played, I think South led the two of clubs. So this actually gave Declara a chance to make 11 tricks. Okay, so let's have a look at this from Declara's point of view. You're playing in a four-heart contract. East is Declara. And let's have a little think about how we're going to play this. Well, if I look at this from my own hand's point of view, I can see the spades are good apart from the ace missing. I've got the king, queen, jack, ten. So one loser there. Hopefully no heart losers. I've got a diamond loser to the ace. And I've got some club losers. That club lead has sort of helped me. Um, but I still have some losers. And my thoughts are... I'm going to see if I can rough those clubs in dummy. Okay. Can I try to cross rough this hand or should I draw trumps? Well, the answer is you must draw trumps here because for you to cash your spade tricks, they will probably get roughed um, unless you're able to draw trumps. So my goal here is to, I think, rough clubs in dummy um, and... I'm not sure how many times I'll need to rough. It depends whether I'm able to make tricks with my honours and whether the King of Diamonds is any good. But I'd, I'll just play this how it was played a couple of times. This is how one declarer played it. They won that first trick with the Queen, and they started on uh, cross-roughing. This was basically they, they tried to cross-rough. Now, when you leave the eight and south plays low, you really may as well 
play the king here. This is they didn't. They they played the two here. Um, they played a diamond pack, so Declara was able to uh, rough that, and then Declara went back to their plan of cross roughing. They're actually cross roughing the clubs and the diamonds here, and it doesn't work out too well. Uh, let's see what happens. They played another diamond, which they roughed. They played another club, which they roughed. It looks like it's all going quite well. But the problem is they haven't drawn trumps, and so they'll have problems capping spade tricks. They led another diamond, which they roughed. So now they can uh, uh, draw the trumps. Can you? Let me just click on the four hands, and you see you cannot draw trumps because you've only got two trumps here, one trump there, and North's got three trumps left, which is what you expect. Okay, so what happened? They played the king of clubs. They, they did the best they could here by roughing with their high trumps here. North can't over up, so they discarded a spade. They then played a diamond. North actually did quite well to discard another spade, and East has to rough high here, which they did, or it would get um, roughed by itself. Okay. Um, so they, they've been able to do all this cross roughing, but now when they come to um, the, play the spades, which is all they've got left, what happens is that North wins the ace, and now you won't be able to cash any more spade tricks. Okay, so you win that heart, but when they play another spade, North has got the last uh, two trumps. You've got no trumps left here, so you're only going to make nine tricks. So that's why this declarer went down in four hearts. Okay, let's look at it played another way. This was the uh, same bidding, um, and this time South made, I think, a better lead. Uh, I'm just going to mute everyone because there's a little bit of uh, background noise. So unmute yourself if you wish to speak. Um, and this is how this declarer played it. They led a spade. So declarer, and uh, sorry, north won that, led a heart back. So they were maybe thinking that declarer is going to do some roughing here, and they led a heart to try to uh, stop that. But this is how this declarer played it. They led a club and Leading low towards your honours is, is a good general practice. Rather than playing the king or the queen, try to lead towards your honours. It doesn't really help on this one because the ace is in the wrong position. Um, but they played a spade back here. <coughs> and uh, Declara now here played a heart to get over here. And they played a diamond. The ace appeared here. So again, playing low towards your honours is a good thing. And what happened? They played a spade back. Fortunately, there was no roughing possibility here by the defense. And Declara now played a heart, played the king of diamonds, on which they were able to throw away a club. And now, because all the trumps have gone, they can play a diamond and rough a heart, rough with a heart there, and they've got the king of clubs, and the queen of spades are good, they can cash those, and at the end they'll rough with a club. And this declarer, along with a number of others, made ten tricks there, and basically they didn't do, they didn't try to cross rough the hand, they, they were, their, your, your goal here should be much more just to uh, rough, rough in one hand, and you need to draw trumps, or you won't be able to take those uh, spade tricks. Okay, so that was a couple of ways it was played. One played quite um, well, and the other not so much. All right. So just an example of whether to draw trumps or whether to cross rough. Anyone have any comments or questions on that? So how do you decide these things that? How should you go? That is a very difficult combination. So it, it's not a difficult combination. Um, mm -hmm. the, the, the answer is it, it depends on the rest of your hand. So 
because here you can see you want to cash your spade tricks here you've got three spade tricks to cash you're going to lose one uh, and then you're going to cash the rest of the spades and generally speaking in that situation where you've got a side suit like that that you want to cash you cross roughing won't necessarily work very well here i mean that that's what happened the first time I, in the first time i showed you that declarer was unable to cash their spades at the end because they'd been they'd successfully cross roughed the clubs and the diamonds and in doing so they shortened their trump holding so that they could not draw trumps so that the opponents um, roughed the threw away their uh, their um, spades and they were only able to make one spade trick. So that's the difference that there's a side suit there, and 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 and, and the, the you know the more the simpler example of it is compare that very first hand I showed you, where one oh. Sorry, I'm muting you all again as you have uh, some background noise. The simplest example of it all was that first one where on this first time you've got outside of the suits you want to rough, the spades and the diamonds, you've just got two club tricks that you want to take. So this one is suitable for cross roughing, but this hand um, is not suitable for cross roughing because if you try to rough your spades and your diamonds without drawing trumps, you won't be able to cash your four clubs. Okay, so that's the difference. And I know a lot of people see the opportunity of cross roughing and think that's what they would need to do. And it's not always the case. Okay. Any questions on that? Any other comments or questions? Before we, um, we end, uh, I'll give you an opportunity. If there's anyone on here who needs a partner, um, I'm just going to stop sharing there. If there's anyone on here who needs a partner, could you speak up now? Unmute yourselves and speak up, and we'll see if there's uh, someone available to play with.